What's up you guys? Welcome back to the Built on Boxes YouTube channel. My name is James White. I am the trucking lawyer. A little bit different today. Wanted to come at you guys with it's kind of a different topic. This is not something I've seen a lot of or maybe at all on YouTube, but I wanted to show you guys how to do a basic pre-trip inspection for a box truck. B before I get started, let me say, if you're a CDLA guy and you're, you know, you want to come after me because you don't think I did a proper pre-trip inspection, I my my function here is not to try to teach somebody how to do a 100% thorough pre-trip inspection. My function is to take people who probably have no experience whatsoever and don't even know what to look for in a pre-trip inspection or understand why they have to fill something out called pre-trip in the beginning of the ELD when they go on duty and give those people an idea of what they need to look for from a safety perspective that can cause them problems in the course of driving a commercial vehicle. So my function is not to teach people A to Z on pre-trip inspection. It's to point to different parts of the truck that could potentially cause problems, that could cause safety hazards, that the DOT will probably look at if they go inspecting your truck, just so you can have some idea of the things that you need to be looking at to try to make sure that your truck's safe to operate as a commercial motor vehicle. There are a lot of people that go out and they get into the box truck business and they don't have any clue what a pre-trip inspection looks like, what they're supposed to be looking for, what the standards are, or any of that stuff. But as a general rule, we just wanna make sure that you cover certain things. Everything on your truck should be properly mounted and secured. You know, it shouldn't be missing any bolts, it shouldn't be, it should not be leaking. So if it's got air or if it's got liquid, it should not be dripping liquid. It should, you should not hear any audible hissing if for air brakes or an air compressor or anything like that, or tires or anything like that. Nothing should be cracked, damaged, or loose. And on the plastic and rubber and that kind of stuff, you shouldn't have any abrasions, bumps, or cuts. Now, I'm gonna do a follow-up video once I get access to the inside of a box truck, because I don't have a box truck right now. The folks at Penske were nice enough to let me do a walk around of one of their units on their lot as a pre-trip inspection just on the outside. You also have some stuff you wanna check as it relates to the air brakes on a um, on a 26 foot box truck. I'll do that in a separate video to give you an idea of what you're looking for. But for now, all I'm trying to do is to give you guys a little bit of a roadmap so you can be as safe as possible. And I hope this helps you out. My only goal is to try to, to try to teach you something maybe that you didn't know or that you hadn't thought about, or maybe you're, you know, just have a no idea what a pre-trip inspection looks like. So um, without further ado, I'm gonna get into the video. But thank you guys so much for your support. Please remember to like and subscribe. And now we're gonna get into the video. So the first thing you want to note from the front, you know, you want to make sure that your lights, your lenses, and your reflectors are all clean and they're all of proper color. You should have amber lights up top for your clearance. You should have amber lights for your left and right turn signal, your four-way flashers, and then you should have clear lights uh, for your headlights, for your low beams and high, high beams. You want to look under the truck. You want to make sure there's nothing leaking and that the truck is not leaning. That's one of the first things you want to know right off the bat. And then you want to open up your engine compartment and take a look at that. Immediately here you want to take a look at your radiator. You want to make sure that it's not leaking. You want to make sure that all the hoses and everything coming off of it is looking okay. From this side of the truck you'll want to check the windshield washer fluid. This is international so some of them are maybe laid out a little bit differently. but. You want to make sure that the, that this is topped off. You want to make sure that that's okay. Um, this is the alternator. As you can see, you want to make sure that the wires on the back of that are clean. You want to make sure that everything is properly mounted and secured. Nothing is cracked. Nothing's damaged. Nothing's loose. There are no abrasions, bumps, or cuts on the belt. You want to note that the belt doesn't have any more than three quarters of an inch play when you pull on it. That kind of stuff. From the driver's side compartment, you want to take a look at the stuff on this side. So here you're going to have your radiator fill reservoir. You want to make sure that the cap's on it, that it's at the appropriate level, that it's properly mounted and secure. There's nothing cracked, damage, or loose. There's no abrasions, bumps, or cuts on any of the hoses. You want to make sure that's okay. Same thing on this side. You want to make sure your engine oil dipstick is here. You want to make sure your belt's in good condition. upper radiator hoses here 
your lower radiator hose coming off down there. You've got power steering fluid here. This is called your power steering gearbox. You want to make sure that it's properly mounted and secured. Nothing is cracked, damaged, loose, or leaking there. It's properly mounted with all the bolts. This is called your pitman arm, your drag link, your steering arm, and your knuckle. You've got a tie rod over here. You want to make sure all that stuff is where it's supposed to be, that it's properly mounted and secured, that it's not cracked, damaged, or loose. These are your leaf springs. This is the hanger. At the back is the shackle. You got two U-bolts here and a bump stop. You want to make sure that all that's looking the way it should. You want to make sure that your leaf springs themselves are not cracked, shifted, or missing. You want to make sure that this shock is secured with both the upper and the lower mounting bolts. These are all things that you want to look at just for your safety. You want to make sure your air lines look like they're in good condition over here. You don't hear any audible hissing or leaking. Then you want to take a look at your brake chamber. And you want to look at your air hose here and make sure that it's all that's good. Your brake chamber here should, should not be leaking anything. Um, it, you don't want to make sure that it's properly mounted and secured. Nothing's cracked, damaged, or loose. This is your push rod and slack adjuster. You want to make sure that everything looks okay there. You want to take a look at the inside here on the brake shoe. Make sure all that's good. You want at least a, a quarter of an inch of pad here on the brake shoe. You want to make sure that the drum is free of excessive heat or wear. You should see a bluing if there's excessive heat. As far as your tires go, you want to make sure that on your front tires, these are called steer tires, you want to make sure that there's at least 430 seconds worth of tread here. You want to make sure there's no uneven wear. You want to make sure that there's no illegal plugs or patches in this tire. And you want to make sure that it's filled to 100 PSI, use a tire pressure gauge. You can check to see if 430 seconds comes up to Washington's head on a quarter if you stick it down in here. Make sure that all your lug nuts are present, that they're not loose. You Make sure that you don't see any signs of metal shaving, shiny threads, anything like that. You want to make sure that your cap is present on your hub seal. You don't want to be missing any bolts around here. You want no illegal welds and no cracks in this wheel. You want to make sure that your fuel tank is not leaking. Take a look under the truck. Make sure it's not leaking. Make sure all this stuff works correctly. Make sure that you can pull this off and it's got the safety chain attached everything's working the way it should these are things that are important to make sure when you're taking a look at your truck the side of your truck on a box truck the body should have dot reflective tape down at least 50 percent of it you want to look under here and make sure these things are called cross members and that's your frame you want to make sure that none of that's bent doesn't look like you're missing any bolts you want to make sure all of those are present now, on the front tires, you need 430 seconds. On the back tires, you need 230 seconds. You want to inspect those the same way. This is your drive shaft. You want to make sure that that drive shaft and the uh, universal joints are where they're supposed to be. They're not bent. They look like they're free of debris and excessive grease and that kind of thing. Move on down here. You want to make sure you're okay. Same thing here. We see the, the leaf spring hanger. The shackles in the back, you got your two U-bolts and a bump stop there. You have your leaf springs themselves. They're not cracked, missing, loose, none have shifted. These tires look like they're in pretty good shape. You only need two 30 seconds on this. You won't, you don't want any um, illegal plugs or patches in the sidewalls here. You want to make sure these are at 100 PSI. You'll take the same approach to looking at the wheels. Make sure all the lug nuts are there not crack damage loose you want to make sure there's no major abrasions bumps or cuts on your tires everything is right it doesn't feel loose your mud flap can't be hanging the ground it has to be properly mounted and secured you want to make sure that's the case you have to do this by dot regulations that's why there's a pre-trip inspection as a part of your hours of service there's an airbag on the body so you would hear an audible hiss if that was leaking there's your shock right beside it. You can see the lower mounting bolt. I mean, this kind of stuff, you just need to take a good look and make sure that your truck is safe to operate. 
back here on the back you want to kind of make the same analysis you want to make sure that your lights lenses and reflectors are all clean and they're all of proper color you should have red for clearance lights up top you should have red for your four-way flashers your left and right turn signal your brake lights and your tail lights you got to make sure that your you have a dot bumper that it's covered with dot reflective tape that's secure you want to make sure that your your door and your latch and your handle and all that stuff is working as it properly should you don't want any mistakes when it comes to this stuff because anything flies off your truck hits somebody anything that happens out there you're responsible for it so you just want to be very careful you just want to give it a good look over because ultimately you know your life depends on this thing moving down the road safely and so as a result you need to make sure that you have a good understanding of what's going on with your truck every single time you get into it so that you and the people around you are safe when you drive so you anyway, know i just wanted to show you guys give you guys some idea of the stuff that you should look for to make sure that you're operating a safe vehicle and what you can you know notice right off the bat that might be missing or wrong or you know look like it's dangerous or whatever so you can have some idea of how to approach a pre-trip inspection for a box truck Okay guys, well that about wraps it up. That gives you a baseline for what you need to look at as far as a pre-trip inspection goes, what you need to be looking for to make sure that you can be as safe as possible so that you can have some idea of what you might say to the DOT officer if he asks you what you looked at when you conducted your pre-trip inspection. At least maybe you have some idea of what you're looking for. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you guys so much for your support. Please remember to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Uh, always leave my email in the description. I'm also going to leave a link for if you need some help with factoring or fuel cards. That'll be in the description as well. Give me a shout if I can do anything to help you, and I hope you have a great day.